the HVM Frequently Asked Questions video series. In this video, I'm going to cover Torque, uh, TIM40, uh, some of the initial setups, and wiring. My name is Jason Osborne. I'm an application engineer out of Detroit, Michigan. So, in this one, we're going to go over um, some of the wiring from the T40B uh, uh, using the TIM. And then I'm going to do a, a, a live video of the TIM40 setup and some of the features. So on my uh, desk here, I have a T40B 1000 Newton meter. I have a TIM40 module. And then I'm using the uh, KAB174-6 uh, TMC cable um, that comes out of port 4 of your transducer. So with this one here, it has all of your uh, torque features and also it, it's a pass-through power. So I've got power coming into my uh, TIM40. On port X1, and then I've got the TIM40 um, being plugged into the T40B using um, port X3 on um, the actual system itself. So, wanted to go through um, when you initially uh, plug in, the passcode is 0123. This is the default password that customers have. So I'm going to kind of step through this. Um, this will give you the firmware of the, de the device under the System Tabs Interface module. Uh, torque Transducer, it's going to list what torque transducer I have. Like I mentioned, I have a T40B, um, 1000 Newton meter, with a, uh, and it will also give you the rotor um, ID as well. So in your general settings, you can go through and set up a specific password um, if you'd like something different than the 123 um, that we give you. And then you can also name your project and select uh, the language, either German or English. Um, on this module, I don't have um, any field bus, uh, the cards in. So um, I'll go through the interface, um, the Ethernet interface, but I'm going to skip the, um, the field bus interface just because I don't have anything connected. Um, so on the Ethernet, this is going to be used for your setup. This is going to be your IP address, your mask ID, um, so if you, if you do need to change this for some reason, you can go right in here, change it, hit accept, and then save it to the transducer, which we'll cover here in a second. Field bus, this is where you can go through and, and select different options that you have. I'm not going to cover this. I'm going to cover this in a, in a whole separate video, um, but just be aware that it's here. There's an option here to update the firmware of your TIM40 if need be. Um, you can download this right from our website, and then you just upload it right from here. So that's some of the main um, items in the system tab. Uh, the main tab is a parameterized interface um, that I wanted to go into. So from the torque side, this is when you can go through and put in different decimal points that you want, uh, your, pos your sign, positive and negative. Basically what that is is if you look at the rotor, um, and put the rotor uh, on the desk with the HBM logo facing up, Clockwise is positive, counterclockwise is negative. There's a couple different options for low pass one and low pass two, um, one hertz to 3K, or you can simply just shut this one off if you wanna do the, the um, exact values that's coming right off of your, your system that's being unfiltered. So I'm gonna go to the frequency output. You can go through and parameterize this as well. Um, each of the T12s have different options you can change of what your center frequency is. Um, this is where you change this. Um, so right now I've got mine set at, um, at 240 kilohertz is my zero value and my um, top value, uh, my top end is, th is my thousand newton meters, it's set at um, th uh, 360. So you can go ahead and change this if you want. Um, depending on what you're looking for for your input. Um, you can do the same thing with analog output. Um, this is going to be set up on your X4 uh, port coming out of the TIM40. You can go through and put what value you want for that, um, for voltage and for current that's coming out of your system. So under the parameterized sensor tab, here there's an initial password. You can put in your old password and uh, put in a new password if you so did, uh, 
to do that. Your center frequency, um, like I mentioned, you can go through and change the center frequency of your actual transducer. Um, so there's there's different options that you can change. Just make sure that this option matches the option that we have in the frequency output that we discussed earlier. In your signal conditioning tab, this is where you can go through and put in your shunt value. So I'm going to turn this shunt on, and I'm going to click the measurement tab on the bottom left here to give me um, some values. There's my zero value that it's reading. We go through and turn on my shunt. You have to hit on and then accept. This is going to be half of your load. Um, and this is what's detailed on your calibration sheets. So I'm going to go back and shut this one off. Anytime you make a change, you have to hit the accept button underneath. If not, um, it's not going to change. So just be aware of that as you go through. There's my um, zero values again. There's a save and load parameter sets on here. Um, there's a default factory settings or there's up to four. So if you make your changes, you can save um, directly to your transducer or you can um, you know, load from a, a PC or save to a PC um, for future use just in case if you ever have any questions or issues that come up, you can always go back um, to that. So this is a quick um, summary of the TIM-40. Check out some of our other uh, videos online at HBM, or if you have any questions, uh, give us a call on our support line, 1-800-578-4260. Again, thank you for watching our videos, and have a nice day.